Hey everybody, welcome back to Watt Whenever Garage. Today we're going to use the Launch X431 tool to do a bleed function on my 05 Corvette. That's a mouthful. Anyway, I've already put on new brakes and rotors from GM Original Parts. It was expensive parts list, so I want to do this right. To be honest with you, I've already did a, a manual bleed function with my wife in the car, and it, we got our paths crossed. I wasn't real sure if the pedal was up or down, she wasn't communicating or I wasn't listening one or the other. So when I took the car for a test drive, that pedal's pretty spongy. So we're going to do the automated function and I thought I'd bring you along. It uses the ABS module to bleed the wheels. This car doesn't have an ABS bleed function, but it uses the ABS module to bleed the wheels. And uh, I'll show you how that's done. We want the diagon function. Diagnose. We do have a show light. And they want to connect your dongle. It's Bluetooth, so we'll connect this to the car and continue. This is kind of cool because the car is way over there. But we can at least get started here, show you what's going on. We're automatically going to search for the VIN number. That is correct. It is a 2005 Corvette, and we want to select the system. This takes a while, so I'll bring it back. Because I buy my tools through Amazon, I get a lot of requests to answer questions. The number one question, I bet you, is will this tool do a specific car and a specific function on that car? And the problem with that is, a lot of times it's not the limitation of the tool, but of the car. For instance, you'll notice there's no ABS here. On These are the modules. So what I go to is the electronic brake control module, and we're going to do activation, activation test, and we're going to do automated bleed. All right? At this point, you follow the instructions, and you're done. It gives you all the instructions. Uh, just go step by step each wheel, and I'll show you a little bit on that uh, here in the video and uh, we'll see at the end and I'll let you read this here okay once that's established open right rear bleeder screw pump brake continuously so pump the brake once you uh, open the line I'll show you this on another step but uh, you push the OK all right you pump your brake up then it says stop, release brake pedal, you hit OK, and it goes through a test. You do that for each wheel, and it bleeds the system without having to have a uh, companion or somebody in the car to help you. So we'll do the other wheels, and uh, we'll see how the test drive goes. Well, you won't be able to tell, but I can. That pedal is a whole lot better than the manual attempt to bleed the brakes. So we're going to back it off the lift here, make sure we have brakes. So I'm going down here, I can put it in second, get a little speed up here. Oh yeah, nice hard pedal. That's outstanding. So that's uh, how you do automated lead function uh, with the launch X431 on a 2005 Corvette. Like I said, a lot of limitations are not in the tool itself, but out of the car. Since this is an older model, I assume that's why we don't have the ABS bleed function, but it uses the ABS module to bleed each wheel cylinder, so that's kind of cool. It's a little expensive for a DIY guy, but in my case, it has already paid for itself. I've done a couple jobs now with this where I didn't have to go to a dealer. Uh, where they charge 120 and more per hour. Here locally in my little town is 95 an hour and I learn how to use this tool through other people on YouTube and save myself some money. So like I said, it's paid for itself. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. We'll see you on the next one.